All guns in this video have been safety checked prior to making the video. Always check your guns. Hey guys, this is the Common Man's Armory and I just wanted to take a, a quick minute to make a video response to another video response about um, just a few things. It was actually the original video was James Yeager's video on why 1911 suck. Now, I don't necessarily think that 1911 suck, but uh, there are some things that are that definitely need to be said about why uh, the newer style of pistol is is more commonly used compared to the 1911 now there are companies like uh, um, arms Corps, which makes uh, the Rock Island Armory uh, 1911s which are now they are starting to get into affordable 1911s and another company called uh, high standard that's another one that makes affordable 1911s um, but other than that, as far as the rest of the 1911s, uh, they're really not all that feasible if you're looking for a, a carry pistol. Now, there are some guys that feel differently than I do, but I'm just stating simple fact, and I'm stating uh, I'm I'm stating what I found. Now, um, right now, I own a Glock 30, which is right here. It, this is my everyday carry pistol. Uh, it's a great gun. It's been it served me well. It is chambered in 45 ACP. Uh, it comes with a 10 round magazine. And the cool thing that I like about this is this is the magazine from the Glock 21, which is a 13 round magazine. Which all I have to do is do that. I have the spacer for right here to actually make it fit. But um, other than that, I I do have the spacer for right here. But I don't have it in here. But I just wanted to, you know, that's the one thing I really do like about this gun is because of the fact I can interchange magazines. And a lot of weapons manufacturers are doing that now. Uh, like the, the Ruger, the SR9, and the SR40. Uh, you can run full-size mags in the compact and they have little spacers and all that stuff. Just awesome way to go. Uh, I definitely think uh, more firearms manufacturers need to start going with modular uh, magazines or modular pistols that you can use other parts in you can use full-size parts in the subcompacts and in the compacts because uh, it just makes it just makes it makes selling your guns easier and it makes selling your parts easier because now uh, uh, I intend on eventually buying something along the lines of a of a subcompact 9 millimeter to carry every day because this is just a little too wide and when we go out to certain places um, <clears throat> When we go out certain places, it's a little too hard to conceal this because it is it is a wider gun and I want something that's going to be a little bit easier to conceal. But other than that, back to the 1911 suck thing, uh, I'm just going to go over some talking points. Now, number one, the Glock, I'm going to be comparing full size uh, 45 ACP firearms. Uh, from I have... Uh, the easiest way I can do this is I have two, I have uh, one, I have the Rock Island Armory 1911, I have the SR45, I have the XD45, and I have the M&P45. Those are kind of the benchmarks as far as, I didn't get into the Glock 21 because everybody's going to be, oh, you're a Glock guy, whatever. Uh, this is just, this is just going over the, the more modern style of pistol, and then I have the uh, just a standard full size 1911 that is in the price range now I could have went way above and beyond that and went out to the Kimbers and all that stuff but these are all in the same price range as each other so that's what I'm basing it on if you want me to get into all that other stuff leave me a comment and I will but this is just what I found now the I'm gonna get to the 1911 first the Rock Island Armory is a full size, you can get it in the full size 45 ACP. Number one thing about guns is weight. Uh, now, some people like heavier guns, some people like lighter guns. In my opinion, for a gun that you're going to be actively using, uh, less weight is better. Nobody complained about having, uh, about having to carry uh, 10 ounces less. It, it's just, that's what it is. And with 45 ACP, um, when you load up now that though all the weights that I list that I'm going to be saying is unloaded uh, 
Now, when you load up with 45 ACP, a lot of these other guns are going to be a lot of these other guns are going to be a little bit heavier when you load them up because they carry more rounds. But the Rock Island Armory is 39.52 ounces. Uh, it's eight plus one. It has a five inch barrel, and this is just for the blued, uh, no special frills or nothing like that. And its MSRP is at 523. Now, that's a very good price for a 1911, and I've personally never shot a Rock Island Armory yet. I'm trying to work on that. Uh, just haven't gotten time to do it. Uh, the number one thing is, is that's a great price. Now, like I said before, if you want me to get into the more expensive 1911s, comparing them to the Glocks and the and the the M&Ps and the XDs and the the Rogers. Uh, I can do that, but you just got to leave me a comment and I'll get this. But this is just what I found, and this was a quick search. But uh, the next one that I want to get into is the SR-45, the Ruger SR-45. That is a full-size, uh, uh, That I think that has a 4-inch barrel. Uh, that weighs unloaded uh, 30.15 ounces. Now, that's a 10 plus 1, and the retail, the MSRP is 5, 529. So, uh, it's, that's, that's a good price, and that's an, another full-size striker fire pistol. It's, it's a good price, uh, it, for me personally, for a full-size, it's, it's, I mean, you could, you could eat very easily get three more rounds in those magazines, but one thing I do like about Ruger is Ruger keeps their, their, their grip width down, and it keeps their slide width down, uh, it makes them a lot, a lot more versatile, versatile as far as uh, people like different people shooting it uh, the XD 45 uh, that's a, a four inch barrel gun that is a 13 plus one very similar to the Glock 21 uh, and it weighs 30 ounces uh, I couldn't get the MSRP on that one I could get I could get sell set the selling price but I wanted to get them all as far as MSRP um that's that's another one. Uh, the thing that I don't like about the XD is the that grip safety that they have, but that's neither here nor there. That's personal preference of mine. I like my guns with, preferably my carry guns, preferably with no safeties. Uh, it's just one more thing that you got to worry about if you have to use it to defend yourself. So uh, as long as you're not a dumbass and you keep your finger off the trigger, like you should, you'll ne you'll never have a problem. Accidental discharge in today's firearms is only due to the person that's holding the gun if you accidentally discharge one of your firearms into yourself or into somebody else it was your fault because I know my Glock I've had my Glock loaded with one in the chamber and I've purposely thrown it now I know that's not exactly the smart thing but it does happen it gets it gets dropped uh, they get dropped on the ground they get you know they get kicked they get whatever uh, with Glock it's with Glock and a lot of the other of today's pistols, uh, they are more safe than they've ever been as far as firing pin blocks when you're not going to shoot them and all that stuff. So as far as as far as I'm concerned, today's pistols are safe enough to do that stuff. Now, the last one I want to get into is the Smith and Wesson M&P 45. Now I didn't really know a whole lot about the M&P 45. Uh, because as far as I'm concerned, I don't particularly own Smith & Wessons. Uh, I've used the the Sigma, which is now the SDVE. I've used that one particularly, but and that one has like a 15 and a half pound trigger pull. It's ridiculous. But um, the the Smith & Wesson M&P 45 has a four inch barrel. Uh, it has a 10 plus one magazine. It's 27.7 ounces, which is the lightest out of all the ones that I listed, which it's only three, it's only what, 2.3 ounces or something like that. But 2.3 ounces is still, it's still a number and it's still lighter. Uh, they have two different models. They have one with a thumb safety and then they have one with, without a thumb safety. Now the one without a thumb safety will run you 599 MSRP and the one with a thumb safety will run you uh, 619. So it's now those are like I said before those are all MSRP prices but uh, 
that gives you options as far as that goes. I didn't really get into the options for the XD. I know you can trick them out pretty good. I know you can personalize them pretty good. Uh, the SR45, I'm pretty sure that that's kind of like a no frills kind of a thing. I'm not really sure. Uh, after sights, I don't really know if you can get uh, rails and all that stuff for them. Uh, the Rock Island Armory, uh, obviously it's a 1911. You can put you can put a bunch of shit on them uh, as far as grips, uh, all the levers, you know, the safety levers and all that stuff. You can take you can do a lot with them. Um, but these are just the facts. Now I'm gonna make another video on some of the other things that I have, but you know, please stay tuned. Go to that other video. Uh, probably have it. Probably put put it annotate it somewhere or put a link to it underneath one thing I would like to add is um, I went I went to uh, Rock River Arms just to search on how to possibly make your 1911 a little bit lighter a little bit on the lighter side now Rock River Arms makes a it, it's not out yet but it makes a polymer frame 1911 which I know some of you guys are like oh 1911 is supposed to be steel framed and all this other stuff well it's not necessarily it doesn't necessarily have to be uh, you know Glocks uh, Glocks Smith & Wesson there, there's a lot of polymer frame pistols out there that are that are proven reliable and and that's just what it is now this is just a new twist on an old design but it's it's a it's Rock River Arms they make uh, high quality uh, AR-15 style rifles and uh, in all different calibers um, I would definitely go check them out but they do make a polymer framed 1911 which I'm sure if you matched it up with I'm sure they already put high super high quality parts the big thing about it is the price range it is I they they have listed that it's uh, 30 what 32 and a half ounces or something like that it's like 32 and a half ounces which is just if which is just a tick over uh what i said the ruger sr9 is or ruger sr45 rather um just a little bit heavier but it's the price point uh as far as 1911 goes anybody who knows a 1911 knows that they are expensive as all hell uh besides the rock island armory um, you can get them anywhere between, you know, like I said, uh, the MSRP on a Rock Island Armory is five twenty-three, and you can get them all the way up to thirty-five, four thousand dollars, thirty-five hundred, four thousand dollars. So it's, it's, I mean, you're gonna spend a lot. The big thing about that Rock River Arms is their price point that I seen on some of the forums was gonna be right around eight hundred bucks, which is actually a really good price. And Rock River Arms makes super, super high-quality stuff. Uh, please subscribe for more gun reviews, how-tos, and shit that goes boom.